Now we're gonna decorate the mitten. What color am I gonna use for my mittens? I can't decide, okay, red, just because I love red and it's my favorite color. So there's a couple really easy ways to do mittens. You can totally just outline the whole entire thing and fill it in. Um, I like to separate into a couple spots. Oops. So I'm gonna have the cuff. and the main hand portion of my mitten. So, like we did before, I'm just gonna get the edge off now. Um, we are going to only fill in one at a time. So I've got a little couple little blank spots as I was going around. Um, so I'll need to stir, but that's one way of doing it too. If you just have, you don't have those little spots like I do. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, if it's just kind of, you can see the lines of your flooding, like where you went in circles, you can just kind of tap it or shake it and it will sort it right out. For ribbing, I like to come back with the piping icing while this is drying and make lines. Um, once those dry, I can come in and make other lines next to them to make it look more like rib knit. You just want to make sure you give it a little time, more time than I'm giving it, obviously. because even this thicker consistency, if it's going wet to wet, it will start to meld in. But I kind of just really like that look of line, 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 because it looks like the, the way ribbing has that very vertical element to it. Now this is going to melt right in, so I'm wondering if I should wait. Um, but there's a really cool way to do where it looks like knitting on your actual mitten. We'll see. Since it's not really crusted. Oops. 
You can kind of ease those together if that ever happens to you where you're not applying consistent pressure. And it will remind you to apply consistent pressure. So, what we do is, in, oh, and you can see how my lines are kind of sinking in because it's not crusted. I would just wait 15 minutes before you do this. But I didn't make a second one, I apologize. So, you, um, you get to see it sink in a little bit. Um, so, you can actually either use this, I would do this at the end. Um, so, you can cut your piping bag open just a little bit more. You're going to have to squeeze harder otherwise. Um, but you're going to want to do it when you don't have any other fine lines to draw. And I'll show you with a wider opening. And I like the monochrome look, but you're welcome to use another color over top to do this. So it's the same thing as we did for making hearts. We just kind of, you can see me right, um, shoosh, pull, 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 shoosh, pull. And um, I do that in all of the wider areas here. And you see it's starting to look like a knit mitten. A mitten. It's late, and I am not as funny in the middle of the night. I'm trying to do this without going over top of it, but... It's hard. Not going over top of it and being able to see and so you can see hope you can see and you would do that well just basically like little hearts okay I'm gonna have to get over top of it for this but I apologize just so you can see what it looks like finished Isn't that cute? A little chunky knit mitten. And then you can come back. I have already, I've cut this open thicker, so I'm gonna get thicker lines over this side than I did over there. Just so it's not blank cookie as you look. I would do this neater if I were you. Do as I say, not as I do. Do it like that. But then you can see kind of what I mean. Um, and then those edges are often a little funky. So I might come back. Wow, this is thick. And go like that. <laughs> Cute! You can also do fun stuff like put um, little motifs on your mitten. You can fill it in plain. And... Um, just like flood it um, and then put little snowflake designs or um, little hearts or however you want. Oh, fun.